another one flying upward basic shape it's a egg then all the wings <coughs> and some color Inside of the wing is lighter, so use lighter ink or color. This is a hint of the other side. The long tail. Also, the inside of the tail is also light. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, to help you understand the bird better, I will do some diagram here. The bird is from a neck shaped body, and the, on the top is the head. It head can turn you know, towards the, f the front or the back. This is the head. Usually, I won't paint the, the tail in the same direction of the beak. So if the beak is down, word I will do the tail a little up, or the, the beak upward, I will do the tail downward. So there's a Z shape somehow, or S in the movement. And uh, you need to distinguish the back and the chest in different uh, ink or color usually. So let's do an illustration here. So we usually start from the back. The back could be in color or uh, in dark ink in Chinese painting always. We start from the back like that and then the head. Leave some space for the eye. And the neck connects the uh, head to the back. And then the tail. I'll do a short one. The, the wings on the other side and the, this side. Very suggestively. And uh, I always do the beak, uh, let me illustrate here. To make the bird happy, uh, we should do the curve a little bit like that. So the bird is happy. 
most of my students start painting the bird like this and end up angry. The curve in inward is more like an angry bird. So I make the bird sing. See, this is the inside curve. And then okay. the side view call like that. Okay. And let me do another direction here. Again, I start from the back. If you s remember the basic shape is oval or egg shape. And this time the bird in a different perspective. The head is down here. Okay, and then tail up in the air. And the wings. You don't see much of the front in this view. Here's the neck and the feet. Okay. 